Hello there, peace looks and dudes. Welcome back to the Kyle Do Things, and I've got another one of my videos concerning my opinion on some of the new stuff that's in shop that just recently dropped last night. I don't know if it's going to be there after today, I, you know, into tonight, but we've got a couple different things to look at between the Fyra or the Fira. I'm not for sure how to pronounce these correctly. She's got the runic shield. Uh, kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn, honestly. Or any kind of post-apocalyptic, you know, kind of thing you can imagine. I know these are supposed to be more like cavemen or, you know, c kind of like old school, I guess you can, well, not even old school, like further than that, uh, historical kind of, you know, looking characters with more fur, things like that, more uh, animal driven to adorn themselves with. It's almost the more natural version of... Uh, <laughs> Mad Max, if you will, because Mad Max was kind of a new twist on that. We also have, I don't know if it's Jaeger or Jaeger, pr to pronounce this correctly, but uh, he's got the emblazoned buckler. Say that ten times fast. I really like the polar bear shoulder pad, and he's got these bracers that are uh, animal skulls too. Also, between this character and the... The from the the other character from the Ouroboros set, this has got kind of like a Conan the Barbarian kind of effect to me. But also, you know, they're kind of changing up the body types a little bit, which I like. They're expanding their character models, in my opinion. I love this battle axe. I think it's worth the eight hundred. I just I can't bring myself to spend the eight hundred right now. <laughs> but I really do like it with the blue highlights and everything. You know, a lot of the. Uh, ruins that are on it, just the fact that they're glowing. It's almost like the axe version of the permafrost that we had. And of course, we have tusk with the big, big giant tusks and the fur for the glider. Uh, in the center there, if you can see, is actually a wheel. <laughs> they were kind of playing off of that with the caveman's uh, invention of the wheel there. Uh, also, there's cross axes there that make... I mean, it's just a very detailed piece, to be honest. So, I, I, I think it's still interesting how how much detail they put into some of these gliders, pickaxes, and skins anymore. And the fact that, again, they are able to sit there and e expand on, on, you know, just the Fortnite lore and universe. Because, I mean, we always have, like, the main characters that go along with the main storyline, and then we get packs that either they don't fit in right now, or they're going to be a bigger part later. And I know a lot of you guys have, you know, paid attention to that with different things, but I really like this back bling, the runic shield, because it's almost, you know, kind of like the other shields we got from past battle passes and stuff or even the you know we have the red knight that's got uh the shield back bling we've got the frozen red knight with the blue version i think the blue squire if i am saying that name correctly has one like that with the red llama instead of the red lion or griffin and then of course we have the black knight that has a shield that is all blacked out like that so and then that's very similar to the, uh, there was one that was a shield, it was in season five, we had more viking stuff, because remember, we have the, we've had the huntress already, that was in the very beginning of season five, and then we also had Magnus, which was the other viking that paired with huntress, and had, you know, the more viking helmet and stuff like that, and I think they really tried to be... A little bit more detailed about these again there's technically supposed to be like cavemen kind of looking but at the same time they still made them viking like which i don't think is a complaint but i have seen i again i don't know if it's jaeger or jaeger how you pronounce that one caveman's name there but that is a very very big statured character so was krampus if any of you guys did get krampus or see krampus out and about with the hooves, he's about a head taller, it feels like, when you first run up on him. I don't know if that's fact, but he just seems like a lot bigger character. Not saying that hitboxes will be any different, but I do find that interesting that they're trying to make characters 
a little bit different outside of the norm of things. But that's just my two cents on the subject, guys. Take it or leave it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. You know, put your opinions down below on these videos, too. I, I don't mind. I really don't. I really don't. So, peeps, folks, and dudes, until the next one, I'll see you then. Stay awesome. Keep creating things. Keep buying whatever you want to buy. Don't let anyone tell you <laughs> that you can or can't. All right? So, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.